When an unsuspecting animal treads impressions on the land with its feet, a predator uses them as clues to determine what their prey is and where it went. A geomorphologist does the same but on larger scales. Specific physical, biological, and chemical processes impress their signature on the earth. And our pursuit is to unveil what those processes are based on the form they leave behind. Dunes are such an impression. A dune is the result of a transient self-organizing system that requires sand and wind. As dunes form and mature, the air that sweeps over them changes its character, which in turn changes the character of the dune at large. But small scale processes like mini avalanches of sand grains inhibit the growth of instabilities in that larger scale wind pattern. Understanding dynamics like these builds a rich depiction of what is required to form the shape of any given dune. From there, we can infer things about air and sand where we can't directly observe them, like in Earth's history or on distant planets, moons, and meteors. It is there where a geomorphologist's pursuit lies. Thanks.